Whether you're a first-time buyer, an aficionado, collector or simply curious, the Battersea Affordable Art Fair has something for everyone. The idea is to completely change the parameters and perceptions of what collecting art actually means. We make, we make sure that we're a really relaxed and inclusive environment. Um, anyone can feel like they can come here. So we start, you know, you could buy a print for around £10 even. So, you know, we, we go up to £6,000, that's our ceiling price. So um, it's all contemporary artwork, so all from living artists and it's, it all goes through a selection committee so it's, you can be sure that it's high quality artwork. The Affordable Art Fair now has events across the globe, from Singapore to New York. But for this Battersea edition, they've added something special in the form of interactive artworks. Artist in residence duo The Iris Project have created these amazing, amazing images by taking macro photos of people's irises. And they've agreed to do the same for me. So uh, let's see what happens. First, they take multiple photos of my eye. Felix Marrell picks his favorite shot and gets to work turning my eyeball into a masterpiece. And here we got your iris picture. It looks it amazing, looks, actually. It does. Uh, it looks like, uh, like the Mars or some desert. And, uh, <laughs> it's amazing. It really looks kind of strangely familiar, but obviously I'm, I've never looked at my eye like this before. So we invite the people to see, for, maybe for the first time, their own eyes. So close and so beautiful, and and it's a, it's an emotional process of so forth. So we let also the people to discover themselves, to discover their eyes, and we say some words, but we are really careful here about it because it's a really emotional uh, discover for for everybody. Another artwork that invites public participation is the constant need for approval by James Burke, who is an award-winning visual artist. First shown at last year's Royal Academy Summer Exhibition, it questions the way society now explores validity and perceived worth in a digital age. And Burke expands this idea through the rest of the work on display. All the works kind of follow a similar theme and it's really about the changing landscape that we're living in at the moment. I think this is one of the biggest changes we're seeing culturally as we move into the digital world and it's something that really fascinates me and I'm questioning a lot of what we're seeing around us at the moment and trying to explore that. More than 1,000 emerging and established artists have work on show and there are galleries from all over the world. The platform projects section showcases installations by five newer artists. I decided to curate it under the title Look uh, stop, look, listen, feel. And the idea behind that is um, that we live in troubled times where, uh, with a lot of high anxiety and my feeling is that we need to slow down a little bit and pay attention to how we relate to our immediate environment. The Affordable Art Fair continues to break new ground with emphasis on the fact that art is something inclusive and not exclusive and that it can actually be down to earth. The works here are still unique but without forbidding price tags. Affordable art is available all year round at various fairs across the globe, with the next one opening in Brussels on March the 15th. Miranda Atty, TRT World, London.